So FME Hub has a transformer for this. It's called the NDVI calculator. NDVI calculator. So if I just type that on the canvas, um, I can get it like that. So you can see that it's asking us for two inputs. Um, we need to pass it the red band and the infrared. So let's get an image from Sentinel. If I start typing Sentinel, you can see we've got a couple of readers here. Um, this one is if you have data already or a link to it. The AWS one is if you want to pull images from AWS. So that's what we're going to use. So if I put that down, I'll open the parameters. So you can get either the entire image. If you click resolutions, um, you can get different ones here, 10 meters. You can get a preview if you just want to um, pull something down quickly. Or you can get just bands. So I just want the red and infrared data. So I'm just going to use those bands. Um, from looking at the Sentinel documentation, back here, no, it was here. Um, I know that the fourth band is red and the eighth is infrared. So if I can go back to workbench, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna get four and eight. Okay. With the search envelope, you can put a bounding box if you want in lat long. Um, or you can use MGRS. So I happen to know exactly the area I want to get. So Dimitri, do you want to play a game? Uh, I... <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this mystery location and I want you to guess where it is based on the NDVI image. Um, I'm hoping you don't know MGRS and just can guess based on what I'm typing here. But I'm going to, all right, so the parameters, I'm just going to get the latest image here. Um, cloud coverage, I want no more than 50% clouds and data coverage, I want 100%. So whatever the latest image is that meets these requirements is going to get that for me. Okay. You ready? You look nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to connect these. Um, okay, red, infrared. So now you can see on this transformer, the gear is red. So it's asking me for parameters. Um, it just wants to know what colorization I want to use on the output. I'm going to use red, yellow, blue, green, because there's more colors in that. And then output, I'm going to connect an inspector. So that is just going to route it to the FME data inspector so I can see the output there. If I wanted to, I could also um, write it to GeoTIFF or PDF or whatever I wanted to. So that's our entire workspace. It's just using this custom transformer, which Dimitri actually made and put in FME Hub for anyone to use. Um, so that is applying the calculation and applying a color ramp so the output looks nice. And here, this is just the bands from Sentinel that it's asking for, and that's all we are doing. So if I just jump back to the slides here, I want to show you here. So in the middle, um, this is what we did last time, actually. We made a near-infrared image and draped that over 3D model and today um, what we're getting here kind of well the colors look more like the one on the right that's a ndvi and um, we drape we could if we wanted to we could drape that over a 3d model as well so really any texture you want you can kind of do what we did last time the one on the left here is just regular rgb yeah. last time uh, we were asked uh whether uh, fme can normalize to top of atmosphere reflectance and I can tell you, well, if we cannot, but we can, uh, because uh, normalization in this case is just an applying an expression. So in the, if you know the expression or you can find a document uh, about, you know, how to apply that, then you can easily just add a, a, another transformer, for example, raster expression evaluator and calculate the, the, that value. So, for example, in planet documentation, they uh, give you the expression and the same thing you can do for Landsat and, and Sentinel data. Okay, so here's my output and it's very colorful, which means there's healthy vegetation. So this is all water. You've got some nice forest, it looks like. If you zoom in, this is so cool. 
So this red here is also water. Do you have any idea where this is? Well, I would guess, uh, uh, looking at so much water, it's probably ocean mm -hmm. and uh, probably it's an island somewhere uh, in the Pacific Northwest mm -hmm. along the along the shore yeah. of uh, yeah British Columbia. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a piece of Haida Gwaii. So good job. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can tell by all the greenery here. Um, the colors and everything you can tell there's a lot of healthy vegetation going on and obviously a lot of water so yes pacific northwest Haida Gwaii lovely place good job <laughs>